Okay, first things first. My name's The Voice Box. What's yours? My name's Jeff. I'm the director of UK operations for Red Action. Nice. So, what's brought you here today? Um, I come here partly because I uh, have helped to organise the uh, um, conference and also because I'm, com I'm compassionate and passionate rather about um, recovery uh, and I firmly believe that the visible recovery that we're creating together with service users is absolutely crucial to keep the recovery movement moving forward. Cool. Let's dig a little deeper. I started to hear more about recovery. What does it mean to you and the people around you? Recovery is about giving everybody an opportunity to full, lead a fulfilling life. And that means uh, people who have substance misuse problems, whether it's alcohol, drugs, uh, or other substances, or whether it's the, those people who are indirectly affected by it. So I'm very keen to think about wider than just individual recovery. I'm very keen to include in that family recovery and what we've talked about today and what I talked about in my talk today was about community recovery. I think communities can recover and I think the people who can lead that recovery are those people who have been through uh, their, their own recovery journey and are inspirational because of what they've learned. But I'm curious, how can we make recovery more visible? I think everybody can make recovery visible who is involved. And by, by that I mean anybody who is able to say, I believe that people can recover. I believe that people can move forward in their lives. I can, and, and for some people who have uh, been privileged to go through their own recovery journey, to be able to say, I am in recovery, I have made progress. And the more people are able to say that, the more people who would benefit from a recovery journey are able to actually be inspired by that message. So I think more people speaking about it, more events like this, but more importantly, more people showing that recovery can happen is what's going to change things. Hmm, yeah, I get you. How would this help us move forward with our ambition? I think by being able to explain the journey that you have been on uh, enables people to see, first of all, that it's a series of steps to recovery. Uh, so by um, showing that small steps make a difference, by, by showing people that individual power can have a much wider uh, influence than we uh, we think it, it does have. Because by making a small step, by influencing one person, and they in turn influencing more people, then actually the, the movement grows. Now, today I've heard lots about community. In your opinion, how important is it for people in recovery to give something back to their community? I think it's part of the recovery process. I think when we think about um, the communities uh, from where a lot of our service uses come from, um, we see that uh, they are all in a vulnerable situation. They're all living with the vulnerability that substance misuse uh, can create in a community. And I actually think that um, community and being involved in your community is part of your commitment to citizenship and that's part of recovery. If I can change something around me, I can influence others to recover. Hmm. We seem to be onto something here. Building strong community foundations where all of us can grow and thrive. I like it. How can we take responsibility make this happen together? Um, I think everybody can take personal responsibility. Everybody can uh, join together 
and to take collective responsibility. But we have to understand that in the same way that individual recovery happens from within, in a recovery in communities happens from within. So by inspiring a community to change, by taking small steps within the community, by giving people an example, by showing people, I care about my community, other people will see the opportunity to show that they care about their community. And that's where the foundations come from. A few people saying, I want to actually clean up my uh, uh, my area where I live. I want to make sure the schools are, uh, are strong and accountable. I want to make sure that children have a good start in life. That's that's what re community recovery is about. It's not settling for something that is uh, nearly good enough. It's it's got to be an ambition that says we're going to do the best that we can do within our community. <sighs> Today has been awesome. There's so much going on out there. Tell me, what has been your favorite moment? What's touched you the most? I think um, meeting people uh, who are moving forward. I think um, so many of the speeches today have been inspirational, as they always are at these things. I was especially inspired by, uh, um, by Kevin's speech. Um, and, and I think that was amazing uh, to be able to stand up and say fearlessly what you believe I think is part of uh, the, the kind of inspirational uh, stance that changes people's thinking. Okay, you are very important. Give me one thing that you will do differently as a result of coming to this conference today. I think... Uh, that I'm not sure what I'd do differently. I think I would uh, perhaps try and do something better than I have done in the past. I want to be, make sure that I practice what I preach. I become involved in community recovery. I get personally involved in people's uh, determination for their communities to recover. Uh, it's something that I would like to think I can do more of. So I think that's what I would try and do.